We were wolves once, wild and wary, and then we noticed you had sofas. You've seen the meme, but Freya lives it. Freya is a wolf husky hybrid. She's low content. I don't usually like to give percentages because you can never be accurate with those types of things. She's goofy and friendly, a giver of hugs and kisses, a lover of belly rubs, but don't let her charm fool you. She's definitely more dog than wolf, but there's enough wolf in there to cause mischief. <laughs> Owning a wolf dog comes with challenges different than that of the average Labrador. They want to mark their territory and show you who's boss. So it's constant battle for who's dominant. I do not suggest wolf dogs for just the average American. They're a lot of work. They're a lot of time and a lot of patience. Uh, if you like having nice things, don't get a wolf dog because they will tear it up and they'll pee on it and they'll poop on it. It turns out that this is Freya's fourth home in her four years of life. Kara and Seth are committed to Freya, and it helps that they have other dogs that set good examples. Our other husky that's 10 years old, she's literally half the size of Freya. She's only 35 pounds. She was the runt, and she runs the house, not Freya. She, Freya is terrified of her, even though she's senior, can't move that fast, barely see, barely hear. Tika runs the house. Kara explained that a lot of Freya's personality and care needs are very similar to a stubborn husky, only turned up to 11. You need to have an outdoor enclosure that is at least eight to nine feet tall so they can't jump over it. And you'll also have to worry about getting a sunken barrier because they will dig out. They are Houdinis. They'll do it. <laughs> She's tried. And there are moments when you remember that Freya's not 100% dog. You can tell when the wolf is taking over because she's very, like, focused. She's in her zone. She doesn't want to listen to anybody. And she actually jumps a little bit when you touch her on her behind to get her attention because she's so in the zone. While not for everybody, Freya has finally found her forever home. She's a challenge, but it's 100% worth it. She's absolutely lovable and adorable, and I can't imagine my life without her, really. Joy Hernandez for Pet Pals TV.